the week two relax. Uh, the, the way this week has gone for all the the news that's come up and down and up and down. It's kind of kind of nice to have a weekend to just <laughs> yeah yeah sit back no, and watch it, some football. So we we got the storylines, and I know we got the other two that we're going to talk about. The Heisman race is heating up, and the CFP. But we have been talking about. You guys, we have been talking about that the last mm-hmm. couple of weeks. You're in both of these other conversations we're about to get into. Let's yeah. put a let's put a bow on what we've been talking about. A lot more has come out. Uh, but Connor Stallions is the one yep. who got suspended. Um, but like like you alluded to a, a week ago and on Tuesday, everybody still signed. So what's significant about this that maybe we need to look at? So the Sign stealing part isn't illegal. It's the fact that Stallions and other uh, people that he kind of brought into it, sounds like no coaches are involved, but mm-hmm. other like graduate students, stuff like that, um, went to these games and recorded film that they can pair with the all 22 footage to kind of put, okay, this sign happened here. This play happened here. That part, is kind of that gray area yeah. because if stallions does it, it's illegal. If he gets other people to do it that aren't affiliated with Michigan, it's that gray area. Uh, yeah. The NCAA was in Michigan in Ann Arbor Thursday and Friday. Uh, the update from that is uh, all pun or all options are still on the table as it pertains to punishment. Should the evidence support it? Uh, it was also made clear that there's no evidence yet that coaches were accessing any of the illegally obtained footage. Uh, they aren't as concerned with those gray areas pertaining to the bylaws, specifically that staff wasn't on campus, but scouts gave tickets or were given t- tickets by Scallions or Stallions, sorry. Uh, so they're not really concerned about that part right now. It's more the the actual coaches' involvement in it. Uh, there have been meetings on campus involving many in the athletic department. And with what's been learned at this point, they've been presented with zero evidence that any Michigan coaches, including Harbaugh, were complicit in the operation. Uh, they're 99% sure Harbaugh will be allowed to coach this team for the rest of the year and that there will be no punishment pertaining to this season. Ooh. Oof. Oof. <laughs> and the thing is, if – the NCAA was to come out and say we're doing the the full punishment, the big hearing, all that. The punished school has 90 days to respond yeah. before anything happens, which puts that after the national championship anyways. Mm-hmm. So if they were to lay down a punishment right now, other than if the Big Ten lays down a punishment, nothing's going to happen this year. Hmm. Hmm. And, and you, yeah, know, the, you guys aren't going to do any self-imposed <laughs> Kate's, yeah, he uh, he had what was called a Michigan manifesto on how him and three hundred or three other people, they had this six hundred page document they edited daily on how they were eventually going to take over the Michigan football program. Wow! So it's not just how Michigan can be the best team ever; it's how it can be the best team ever with those guys at the forefront. So, mm, a little funny, a little funny. Yeah. Business. Now, look. Let me let, let's address the the obviously the the tape from last year's Ohio State game, and everybody sees him looking over the other sidelines. They see the call, and then all the guys are mm-hmm. doing whatever. What, what? So that's normal, right? People. They do that from time to time. I get that he knew a little bit of extra stuff, but is that illegal that he's sitting there next to him like, okay, this is what they're doing? So that that video clip right there is totally legal. You can respond to how a team – like if you can legally get the signals, you can do that. That's totally okay. fine. Uh, it's just how you steal the signals is gotcha. the issue. So gotcha. uh, we'll see if it – actually leads into the fact that like coaches knew about it but uh it sounds a lot like this guy just kind of did it on his own accord to try and move up in the the football team mm. Mm, watch out man good gracious yeah. and look and like right now i mean we're about to get into the college football predictions but nothing on the field has appeared to be able to stop you guys no ah, a little bit of extra well, stuff is coming in and here's the yeah, Saban's defending Michigan, 
Kirby Smart said he didn't. I mean, they whooped us, but he said he didn't get any kind of notion that Michigan was stealing signs. Um, and then, I mean, you have Dion saying, you can mail me your whole playbook. I still have to stop it. Right. And yeah, we can, like, you can know what the other person's doing. And Ohio State can cry wolf that we stole the signs and all that. But the 45 points and the 200 plus yards rushing and turnovers and all that, that's on field execution. You right. can know what's happening. You still got to be able to stop it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and now we have also heard about there are certain teams that were, uh, they all had the option to not play Michigan uh, mm-hmm. because of all the sign ceiling stuff. Uh, there was, there was a certain said, yeah. team. There was a certain team that potentially was going to come out and they wish they <laughs> would have, uh, so they were going to play, but I'm not going to name names because uh, some of us are still in the building. So let's go ahead and. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, cat. All right, we gotta move on. 